Hello, my name is Cynthia McCullough. I'm a professor of medical physics and biomedical engineering at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, where I've had the pleasure of working now for almost 24 years. I want to invite you to read an article that we've published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings on the topic of radiation dose and CT scanning. The title is Answers to Common Questions About the Use and Safety of CT Scanning. Articles in the scientific literature and lay media have implied that there is a risk from the radiation that is involved in the use of CT scanning. This has created a amount of concern by both physicians and patients. While there is broad agreement that we should never give or have medically unnecessary tests, there is not broad agreement that CTs in fact do pose any risk. Although the doses of radiation used in CT are higher than are used in radiographic imaging like chest x-rays, they are still a factor of 10 to 100 times lower than the dose levels where there is evidence that the risk begins to increase from radiation. Experts in the field have reached the consensus that the risk of radiation at the low doses used in medical imaging, including CT scans, are either so low that we can't reliably measure them in the background of the amount of cancer that is in the population in general, or that the risks don't exist. So while the doses and the risk from CT scanning are low or very low, the amount of concern, the magnitude of concern, is very high. In our article, we go through how dose is measured in CT and how we express radiation dose. We talk about the levels of doses from different medical imaging exams other than CT as well as CT. We talk about what is known about the radiation risk and at what dose levels the evidence does point to increased cancer risk. We also answer very practical questions. We have a supplementary material of frequently asked questions that you might hear from your patients and we give you uh, answers and references to help you in answering their questions. We talk a bit about the background of, of radiation in general and go through some of the studies that demonstrate the evidence that at these really low doses the risk is not identifiable. These studies include the large studies that have been performed on the survivors of atomic bombings, on radiation workers, and on medically exposed patients. There's particularly been quite a bit of discussion about the use of CT scanning in children. There are some tissues in children that are more radiosensitive than in adults, but there are actually tissues that are less radiosensitive, and in about half of the organs, there's no evidence that there's any difference than in adults. But still, children are younger, they have a much longer lifetime in which they might express the uh, any risk that is there and, and get a cancer, and so it is just prudent medicine to use the lowest doses that are reasonable. Now we don't want to go too low in dose because then we don't get the diagnostic information which helps the physician plan the needed treatment or make the needed diagnosis. There's been a huge amount of effort in the imaging community to draw attention to this issue so that we dial down and right size the dose given to our smaller patients. We also in the article talk about the other things that are being done to lower radiation dose. And again, not necessarily because this small amount of radiation is dangerous, but we're being prudent. There are so many important medical exams that rely on radiation and people are getting more of them in their lifetime that it's just nicer if the doses are lower. And so we talk about the tremendous strides that have been made in that area. We also talk about cumulative radiation exposure. There are some patients with serious injury or illness in which they get many examinations and people worry more about that. Uh, we talk about that issue and how actually the, ra the radiation risk is not felt uh, to, to accumulate over uh, different examinations. And finally, we really stress the, the most important point, which is that if the information you're going to obtain from a CT scan or other medical imaging exam helps you in making the right diagnosis or ordering the right treatment or performing the right treatment, the medical benefit derived from that exam 
far, far outweighs any potential small risk that, that may be present. And so no patient should decline having a medically needed CT examination, and physicians should be comfortable in ordering the ones that they need. The media attention to this has been misleading, and we hope that this article provides well-referenced, uh, academic, documented information for you on this important topic. Thank you very much. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.